Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about ng switch directive. The ng switch directive on a container specifies an expression to match against. The expression to match are provided by ng switch case directives on views within the container. Every view that matches is rendered. If there are no matches, a view with the ng switch default directive is rendered. Alright, now let's see how we can use ng switch directives in Angular 10. So for that, switch to the project and just open app.component.html file. And here, just add a div here. So just type here div and just close this div. And here, just add ng switch directive. So just write here inside the big bracket ng switch okay. is equal to now create a property. So just to go to the app.component.ts file and here just create a property. Let's color is equal to uh, let's say red. All right, now here just type color this property name. Okay, now inside this div, just create some div. So just write here div, and uh, inside this div, just uh, add a paragraph. Let's say red color. Okay. Create another div, add paragraph, uh, green color, okay, and here is blue color, okay, sorry, here is blue color. All right, and one more div, and just write here in paragraph default color. Okay, now just create some CSS classes. Okay, so just to go to the app.component.css file, and here just write here some classes. Let's say box and say it here height let's say 200 pixel width 200 pixel text align center okay and one more property which is border let's say one pixel solid Okay, and just add here the color black. So just write here zero zero zero. All right. Now another class dot red. Simply add here the background color. Okay, red. Another class green. Background color. green and here for blue so just write dot blue background color blue okay and set the default for default box just write here uh, default color it's a background white background color white all right now save this file and add this classes to the div so just write here class box and red okay 
and here just add the class box green and here class blue uh, box and blue okay and here class box and default all right now add here the ng switch case so just write here first add here asterisk ng switch is is equal to if value is red so just write here red single quote okay then render this block all right and if color is green so just write here asterisk ng asterisk ng switch case green okay and here for the blue so asterisk ng switch case is equal to color blue so just write here blue and here just add for default so simply write here asterisk ng switch default all right so all set so now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and there is Oh, okay compiling now compile and you can see here the color uh, red color box okay because the color value is red if i change the color with green now save the file and you can it's compiling green color okay what is the green the spelling mistake here okay class save the file and now it's compiling compile successful and you can see here the color green okay and if i change with uh, blue just write here blue save the file and you can see here the blue color box okay and if i add any other color let's say uh, gray now save the file and here You can see the white color. If I add here the silver color, also it's showing. Uh, now it's compiling. Compared successful, but still it's showing white color. Okay. So in this way you can uh, you can use ng switch directives in angular 10 so that's all about angular 10 and just switch directive so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching